Shalom, beloved. A word. When I woke this morning, I heard the Spirit say, Babylon is like the Titanic. Babylon is like the Titanic. One of the things that I know about the Titanic, they were very arrogant. One of the things that they said was that Yah himself cannot sink this ship. Okay? Yah himself cannot sink this ship. And yet we know on his maiden voyage, the Titanic did in fact sink. It hit an iceberg, okay? When I heard those words, Babylon is like the Titanic, it made me remember what happened to the Titanic. Even now, they cannot raise that ship. And it was a very arrogant, boast that not even Yah can sink it. Book of John chapter 4 verse 24, Yah is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. It was an iceberg that sunk the Titanic. Again, they were very arrogant in their statement that Yah himself cannot sink this ship. Babylon is like the Titanic. There is an iceberg dead ahead. The iceberg of truth. They were speeding through the waters and all their opulence and grandeur. They were holding Gutenbergs and Astors, some of the richest merchants in the world. They were so arrogant, they did not even prepare for the possibility of a true disaster. They did not have enough lifeboats on board because they never thought any true disaster could fall befall them. When I heard the words and I thought about it, the ship was out of Liverpool. And that made me think about England. That made me think about England. Okay. It's funny. The Titanic's lookout, Fred Fleet, was originally from Liverpool. Okay. It, the book, the, the boat itself, to my knowledge, had connections to Liverpool, England. Just like Babylon, but to continue, because the word was quick, but powerful, beloved. It was quick, but very powerful. Babylon is like the Titan. On his maiden voyage in the middle of the night, somewhere around 1 or 2 a.m., boat hit an iceberg. They were moving so fast, trying to get to shore quicker than they were even expected because they were moving in the midst of their arrogance. Not only did they not reach their destination, but their speedy arrogance took them to their true destination. 
Right now, beloved, we are watching a lot of things going on in this country, in Babylon. Many people, they're not going to be here when y'all come. But whether we meet on this side or the next, know for certainty, Babylon is just like the Titanic. And their arrogance that not even Yah can sink them. The fact that they did not take heed to common warnings to prepare. They didn't have enough lifeboats to save their passengers. They had more regard for the rich on board than they did for the common man, just like Babylon today. And even then, many of those rich people went down to the bottom of the sea, beloved. Babylon is like the Titanic. It is sinking to rise no more. And that iceberg is the spirit of truth that's hitting Babylon in that one week span. It never prepared for. Just like the ship, it was built with grandeur, but it had a weak spot. And that weak spot that actually was a powerful, powerful position. That's where the truth is coming in. And it's going to fill up every single hole and take it down to the bottom of the sea. It cannot be raised. It cannot be recovered. Babylon is like the Titanic. That is the word that the Spirit gave me this morning. I woke up and I heard it just saying, saying Babylon is like the Titanic. The fact that it happened at night, they're unaware. They are so comfortable in what they're doing. They just don't believe any danger is near. But even those who were steering the ship, they knew they were going too fast. They were so self-assured that they ran dead ahead into their destiny, their truth. Destiny, be comforted, beloved. Babylon is like the Titanic, the lifeboat that we need, the only one that will save to the utmost is our faith in Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of the Most High, because we worship him in spirit and truth. We can see. What's coming? They can. And even when they finally see it, it's too late. It's too late. In the middle of their grandeur, in the middle of their party, iceberg called truth of Yah, dead ahead. And they're going to run smack dab into it. And there will be no healing. There will be no recovery. Babylon is like the Titanic. I want to read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, starting at the first verse. Awake, awake, put on your strength, O Zion. Put on your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. From henceforth there shall no more come into you the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake yourself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose yourself from the bands of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus says Yahuwah, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, my people went down a full time into misery and to sojourn there, and Asher oppressed them without cause. Now, therefore, what have I here, says Yahuwah, that my people is taken away for not? They that rule over them 
make them howl, says Yahuwah. And my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Mm. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that speaks. Behold, it is I. I read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, starting from the verse, verse to the sixth. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that speaks. Behold, it is I. What is the word of the Most High that spoke to me today? Early this morning, I literally opened my eyes hearing Babylon is like the Titanic. There is an iceberg of truth dead ahead. Shalom, beloved. Fear not. Yah has heard. He is listening. Let us repent and never forget to whom we belong and to whom we give all honor, praise, and glory. The iceberg of truth is coming dead ahead, and Babylon will sink to rise no more. That Babylon who like unto the Titanic thinks not even Yah can sink her. Hmm. Iceberg, dead ahead. Shalom.